Moving on to Matt Rife. Matt Rife had some beef. Um, this is courtesy of TMZ. Amid ongoing backlash for his Netflix special, Matt Rife is now catching heat for his appalling alleged comment to a six-year-old. <laughs> I love this arc, man. He needs to, Matt Rife needs to stop hanging out with Tom Segura. Just, like, imagine not being happy that you have female fans. Imagine that being a thing. Imagine ugly comedians convincing you. Ugly, washed up, dry, unfunny comedians convincing you that the way that you built your entire career on your own, right, with your own team was a wrong thing to do. Imagine. Because that's what's happened, I feel like. I feel like Matt has allowed these other comedians to get in his ear and tell him, hey, you need to have a bit more of a real comedy fan base and stuff. So now he's turning on these fans and stuff. It's like, bro, like, there's nothing wrong with having a you know majority female fucking fan base what's the what's a bad thing about that i really don't understand why he wants like what like sweaty men to be his fans instead it's such a bizarre pivot and the way he's doing it as well is so weird and again i'm not even the biggest fan of his comedy i just don't understand why he's throwing away all that hard work to cultivate that fan base even if it is you know fucking milfs and stuff who gives a fuck he's now throwing that all away because he wants what a real comedy fan base which is what men that wear like trucker hats and flannels and shit like come on bro like really anyway now if he's embroiled himself in a controversy this time alleged comment of a six-year-old um as you've probably seen matt rice been under some fire since relief on netflix special called natural selection the comedian whose fan base had largely been compromised of women infamous, infamously opened the show with the domestic violence jokes he also mocked women for a certain interest such as astrology and crystals fucking no he's got a tiny waist isn't it jesus christ bro jesus he's got like what is, is that like a 28 waist fucking hell that is a tiny fucking waist isn't it jesus i could probably fit one i could probably fit one of my jeans legs in the entirety of his fucking waist <laughs> one of my thighs could probably fit into the whole thing you know <laughs> <laughs> holy shit i probably couldn't get my arms through this like yo matt rife is a slim sexy boy huh slim sexy boy look at him slim sexy let's continue uh, <laughs> regarding astrology matt said i'm so tired of you ladies blaming your poor decision making on skills on the planets that don't even know you get this through your head astrology is not this magical life guiding um that perm that Pre -met oh, Jesus Christ, read carefully, Agostino, you fucking read act. It says, I'm so tired of you ladies blaming your poor decision-making skills on planets that don't even know you. This, uh, Get this through your head. Astrology is not this magical guideline um, that predetermines your future in the stars. Your future is determined by your own thoughts, opinions, and actions. You are in complete control of how your future turns out. This sounds very Tom Segura-ish and also very hacky, isn't it? Like, th this is the kind of stuff like maybe you won't get this reference I, I think you will do have you ever been in a house party where there's a guy who tries to like hold court and especially there's women around and he brings up these type of co topics to get women talking and to spark contra to spark conversation maybe to spark controversy whatever and you'll kind of bring up these things oh, women in astrology right women should be in the kitchen right i would never take a woman's last name I would never pay for the first date. They bring up all these topics during the house party to get women talking and stuff. It's really hacky, really lame. Like, you know, like, you know that kind of guy? That sounds like these type of jokes. Like, I've heard this guy say these type of jokes. But it's like, like, shut up, man. Have a drink, have a line and shut the fuck up, bro. Don't turn this into a fucking Maury. It continues. It has nothing to do with the stars, man. Just because Jupiter has a rise, a ring, and you don't, doesn't mean what you've supposed to look up into this magical. Oh, fuck off, Matt Rife. Terrible. Um, continues. Um, as the clip of the astrology bit started going viral, people apparently started tagging a popular TikToker named Bunny Hey Dyer, known, uh, knowing she has a six year old son who, in her own words, is very into space. So that's Bunny. Bunny has a six year old son cool bunny explained on tiktok that after receiving so many tags she decided to respond by stitching a clip with her son's reaction in the video which is shared on instagram on tiktok okay cool i think this is the video i have here this is bunny talking about it right let's let's hear bunny let's hear bunny talk about matt rife let's see wagwan here let's see let's see what does it say here matt 
Matt Rife has decided to start beef with my six-year-old child online. Yeah, you heard me correctly. My six-year-old child online. So, my name is Bunny Hidea, if you don't know. What kind of name is Bunny Hidea? Me. Hidea means gift, and this is my gift to you. Your voice is not a gift, I'll tell you that, bro. Reading Matt Rife to Phil. Like Matt, I have a full female audience online. Although, I like mine. I don't want the men, you can keep them, please. I will gladly take your audience because we know you can't satisfy them anyways. Boo. This all started when his comedy special, which if that's what we're calling comedy, the things he said that weren't even funny were posted on TikTok and I started being tagged in them because everyone knows. Honestly, if I had a gun, I would literally put it in my ear and blow my brains out. I would blow my brains through my other earlobe. Imagine hanging out with somebody that sounds like this. Imagine going to lunch and catching up with an old friend and they sound like this. That my son is like a genius and he's really into space. I fiercely protect my child online. I'm not a family channel. People know his name. They know he likes space. They know he likes Minecraft. And that's pretty much it. Most people do not know any personal details about my child. And because of that, and because I have such a large audience, when I see people in person and when people see space clips, they tag me in them because they know that that's what he likes. This is the video that I posted. Nothing to do with the stars, man. Just because Jupiter has a ring and you don't, doesn't mean. Really is Saturn has rings. And it has more also, and you're mean to girls. I am not the type of content. Tell your six-year-old son to go to fucking bed. Tell that little scrot to go up to his room before you chuck him out the nearest window. Tell him Santa doesn't exist and tell him to go to fucking sleep. Who the fuck is he? Why is he getting into grown man's business? Dickhead. Content creator that usually talks about other people or other things for views. I focus my content only on me because guess what, Matt? I'm interesting enough on my own. But I also didn't pay for my looks, so that's not really what people. <sighs> okay. Follow me for. You look to the video on here. You can see that all the comments were like, "Oh my god, he's so smart. He's so cute. Like, oh my gosh, yeah." Girl pack you. He's not tagged in it. I have no connection with him and it was posted on a Netflix page. While you clearly took a lighthearted video and turned it into fighting with a six-year-old, let's talk about the comments that you said about me. This is my IG where he left the comment, okay? Do I look like I don't even show my body? For you to assume that every single woman online makes money by showing their bodies, which like, if that's what you do, girl, do you. Like, love it. I have never made a single dollar from a man. The audience is female, 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 female. Hold on, what did what did he actually say? I can't even see it. What did what did he actually say? He said Jupiter also has ring. Oh, and Santa Claus ain't real. Your mum buys your presents with her money she makes on OnlyFans. Good luck. Okay, fair enough. Matt Rife's reply back to her was a bit lame, right? It was a bit lame. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit lame. A bit lame. Like it's a bit lame. If, if you're gonna if you're gonna come for the mum, or if you're gonna come on the mum, just come on the mum. You don't need to come on the kid to come on the mum. You know what I mean? You get me? You get it? Yeah. And a little bit of the gays and nays. You can't accept the fact that people may like women for their personalities. No, you, we know you don't have one. Do you stick to circle jerking the men that you need validation from? And I will gladly take your female audience that you so desperately want to get. No, it hurts because I'm richer than you. Oh, okay, I'm I'm bored. I don't give a fuck, man. They could they could all get chucked on the nearest train tracks and run over many many times. The mum, the six year old kid, Matt Rife, they can all get thrown into the nearest volcano, right? Then whilst their dying embers of their bodies are still fucking piping hot, they can then get run over by a fucking lawnmower, and then all of those dust and bits and bobs could get sprinkled with a fucking hose so they disappear. All of these people are fucking losers. They're all fucking losers. We don't care. We don't care about all of them. Everybody needs to get, you know, drop kicked in the head, including the six-year-old. I'd fucking, you know, fucking stone cold stun at that six-year-old. And when he got up, like crying, bogey running down his face, reaching out for his mummy, I'd kick him in the fucking back, right? Breaking his spine in four places, like fucking Omni-Man did to fucking Invincible. Or that like happened to Omni-Man. Do you know what I mean? That's what needs to fucking happen. What else you got, Chen? <laughs> Big up, KP. Appreciate you. Fuck that kid, man. Fuck that kid. Fuck the mum. Fuck all of them. We don't care. We don't care, all right? We don't fucking care. 